Welcome back to the channel. Just in the last couple of days, a rumor has come out that Darth Bane will be used by Disney, Lucasfilm, in multiple projects. We're going to take a look at this rumor and the sparse information that's available and then delve into what we refer to as expanded universe appropriation. Bounding into comics always does a good job of covering nerd topics and they're a source that I use regularly. So their article says, rumor, Disney has plans for Darth Bane in multiple Star Wars projects. They are in turn getting the information from scooper Daniel Rickman's Patreon. And this information was first reported by Full Circle Cinema. It says, according to Full Circle Cinema and Rickman, Disney hopes to use Darth Bane in several projects. They also reported that Rickman detailed there could be a solo Darth Bane project in the works as well. No other details regarding Darth Bane were mentioned. They go on to talk a little bit about the character. Those of us who are longtime Star Wars fans know that Darth Bane was actually created by George Lucas in some notes he provided to Terry Brooks for the Phantom Menace novelization. And as we also know, the novelizations were originally canon as determined by the old continuity system before Disney acquired Lucasfilm. Rather than telling you how I feel about this, which you can probably guess at, and you've probably seen similar opinions across social media over the last couple of days, I'm going to illustrate a point here. What are you doing? <clears throat> I don't actually want to have to look at you, Gary. You can't do that. Why not? Health and safety. Health. <laughs> um, why, is it crushed by cardboard or what? No. You can't do that. Why not? Safety violation, I could fall and pierce an organ. Here we have Thrawn in the hallway with an officer freaking out on him because the officer doesn't like art. Very out of character. Yeah, we know he loves art, but come on. That's kind of a weird shoulder rub there. Then we have him missing at point blank range, and then we have him continually threatening to win the war. Yet here is how the Grand Admiral wound up. In a tentacle. That's a far cry from his dignified and artistic, no pun intended, death in the last command by Timothy Zahn. His portrayal in the cartoon Rebels was laughable and reminded me of a typical 1980s cartoon villain. It's insulting that Lucasfilm thinks that inserting these Expanded Universe characters into their continuity is something that we as Expanded Universe fans and Star Wars fans in general even want. In fact, this appropriation of characters and events from our continuity is an insult, as it does a disservice to the characters and to the authors who created them. To go back to the Office clips, there is a clear difference between taking characters from an existing franchise and shoehorning them into your continuity and changing the characters so that you think they're compatible with whatever bullshit you've come up with and reinterpreting the characters in a new and creative way, which in the case of The Office is true. The last point there is that in many of those cases where characters are reinterpreted, it's by the same creators. I myself don't want to see any of the other Expanded Universe characters added to the Disney continuity. I don't like that continuity and I don't want it to continue, period. <laughs> Lucasfilm, up until it was acquired by Disney, did a really good job of trying to keep one continuity going. Yes, they had levels, and yes, mistakes were made, but they made an attempt to do so. The Disney Star Wars universe is radically different from the original Star Wars universe. So taking these expanded universe characters and trying to put them in that continuity necessitates changing them. We saw it with Thrawn, and we will see it with others when they attempt to do so. Obviously, the expanded universe authors do not own the characters and events they created but they own them in spirit. They put a lot of time and effort into creating those events and characters that we enjoy so much in most cases. As mentioned earlier, it is a huge disservice to those expanded universe authors to take their creations and reinterpret them in unfaithful ways in a continuity that in no way resembles the universe we love. It's creation appropriation and creative bankruptcy, both of which seem to be par for the course in Hollywood right now. For our part, will continue being the bane of their existence until they bring back what we want and what we have money to pay for.